Hey everyone, good to be with you. Um, we'll be talking about metrics and I think Russ already gave a really great example in his talk about why metrics are important because it was only from, from what I was hearing uh, because they had realized, hey, all the contributions are feature contributions we need to shift that, that it provide the rationale to set up the core team and follow that pattern. So metrics really help in our inner source efforts. And everything that I will be talking about is, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. They're great resources in the inner source commons, in the chaos project. And I will provide those references and resources uh, at the end. I also want to point to a pattern that is in the works, the status is initial, called the introducing metrics in inner source. So my hope is that through this uh, talk there will be more interest in highlighting this. We might be able to you know, finish it. What we need are known instances. So if you are doing metrics for your inner source, then maybe consider putting your name down to help move this pattern into the next phase. I want to talk about what metrics can we use, how might they be useful in our inner source, and then also what tools are available. Um, and I will specifically highlight uh, the Grimoire Lab tool. And I will I ask that uh, if you are in Slack, that you open Slack, I'm going to post a question there. And I want to see if, um, you know, how many are actually using metrics. So go ahead, give us uh, some input. I, I'm curious to see, okay. The numbers are coming in. We have um, more that are using metrics, which is encouraging to see, but there are several who don't, and that's okay too. Um, metrics is something that, um, you know, you don't start with right away. It will be helpful, but it's something to maybe go to the next level. Now, I want to ask a second question and give me a moment to set up the answer options for this one. There. I, I'm asking now, what business goals are you using metrics for? So when we are talking about metrics, they are not the goal. We don't want to have metrics for the sake of metrics. We want to advance some business goals. And so I'm curious to hear, and you can answer as many uh, options as you are using metrics for to see, okay, where are metrics actually being used for? And I'm asking this so that you can also see who else here at the summit is uh, using metrics and then maybe we can start use that as a conversation starter. So thank you everyone who is putting their answers in. I really appreciate it. it makes it a bit more you know interactive since we are live here today. I really appreciate that. I want to show you an example of metrics that I've seen in the wild. Last week I was at the Linux Foundation Member Summit and Jeff Boric from IBM was saying, hey, this is the first time that we are really talking about our inner source efforts here with the IBM Watson uh, Natural Language Processing Project. And I, this one slide stuck out to me where he showed the core technology in the middle. It sounds like the pattern, the core team pattern. And he had marked the two points, the contribution and the adoption points which from the goals that we were just looking at, sounds like knowledge sharing and creating reasonable software. Of course, there are other goals that go into this. Um, but the 
th this uh, idea that, okay, we, we can look at the contribution side and the adoption side of inner source. And then the next slide, this is where metrics came in. He had some numbers. And again, it looked like on the left, there were contribution metrics, like number of contributors, number of maintainers, the time it takes, um, business units involved, and then adoption metrics, talking about the product teams that are adopting it, the how it reduced their time, that they had access to experts, could focus on their differentiation, and then even putting a dollar value to it, saying it saved us almost $10 million uh, in 2020. So I just thought, hey, this is a really interesting example that I saw and I wanted to share that with you. Now, if you're thinking about how do I get started with metrics, how do I make really good use of it, I wanna say be strategic about this. I wanna give two things to consider here. One is start with the goals, um, use the goal question metric approach, and then embed the metrics in the day-to-day -day work that you're doing. So let's talk about that. The goal question metric approach has been talked about many times here in the comments at chaos. It's something that acknowledges the metrics are only there to serve a certain purpose. And we need to understand what is our business goal. That's why I asked that question in the Slack channel. What is it we want to accomplish? And then we break it down into questions for how are we accomplishing this? How are we doing with reaching our goal? That then we can answer with metrics. And we can reuse the same metrics for different goals if uh, that's helpful. I'll give you an example here in a second. The other thing is, once we have the metrics determined, let's make that part of our day-to-day -day work. Let's make that part of our reporting and also have decision points where we say, uh, once we reach a certain threshold of uh, number of teams involved in our project, that's when we spin off the, the core team pattern. Or maybe we want to uh, not bring in any new more teams until we've solved a certain other metric. So embed the metrics in the decision-making um, so that you have decision points of when to move on, when to step back and focus on something else. Now, to the example of using the goal question metric approach. Let's say our goal is to increase inner source engagement within the organization. Then let's come up with some questions here. One question might be which contributors or business units interact the most? Or what is the general trend in contributions across data sources or collaboration platforms? We might also ask, what path are my contributors following when getting involved with inner source project? Now, for each of those, there are different metrics we can use. And let's say we focus on the first one, wanting to understand the interactions between contributors, business units, and our projects. And one of the metrics we can look at is network analysis. So this is where we conceptualize the projects or the teams uh, as nodes and the developer as nodes. And we could say every time a commit is made, now we start drawing a line. And we might have another project, another team somewhere in the organization. And once we get them to collaborate, up, okay, voila, there's a line between them. So that is the idea of the network analysis. And here are some examples uh, from different projects that have very different topologies that we see once we look at the network diagrams of their collaboration patterns. And I'll look at some examples of what we are seeing in here. Um, these are created with the Remore Lab tool. So it's an open source tool. You can do those um, analysis for you as well. But like, let's look at some topologies we're seeing here. On the one hand, we might see a close collaboration and like a continent being formed, or we might see some islands of projects. 
that are somewhat independent. We, we might see some contributors, some developers that are contributing to one project here in the solid line, or we have developers that are bridging between projects, creating the connections, transferring knowledge here in the dotted lines. We might have some core technology in the middle and then some projects that are more on the periphery that are isolated. We can also visualize very clearly where the silos are, where we have not established collaboration between our teams and projects. So this is uh, an example for how we can use the network analysis as a metric to understand the collaboration uh, that we are creating in our inner source projects and breaking down the silos. You can use the tool Grimoire Lab. It's open source at the Linux Foundation. It uh, helps to do this. Uh, it supports more than 30 different uh, pl collaboration platforms and has metrics that you might expect to see, uh, not just around network analysis, but also commits and issues and pull requests. And you can analyze the contributions at the team or business unit level. So I'm gonna post the, another question to see where, what tools you all are using and feel free to write in the thread if you're using a different tool. And I'm just curious to see, you know, what is everyone using? And of course it's okay you know, any of these are okay. Um, custom metric solution, we have seen those. Building own scripts, manually collecting metrics, that's sometimes where, where you start and then uh, when it becomes too much or you decide it's too much work, then a professional solution uh, becomes necessary. So I see a lot of custom metric solution yeah, uh, also some who don't have it, some Grimoire Lab, some manual collections. So yeah, excellent. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you um, giving, giving your uh, answers here. I wanna leave for today with the resources and references that I promised you. There are the pattern Introducing metrics and inner source. That's where the list of business goals, where I got that from. There are some suggestions for which metrics you might want to consider if you want to pursue that business goal. The book Managing Inner Source Projects is here at the Inner Source Commons as a resource for learning about inner source, has a whole chapter on measurement. And then also the video on inner source metrics value and ROI. That's where I got the example of how to use the goal question metric approach from. And finally, my hope is that with this, with this talk, we can spark some conversation and level everyone up. And I hope the questions in the Slack channel uh, is a reason to be curious and reach out to others and have that conversation. And then of course the pattern, I hope that we can get that over the finish line. Well, thank you and enjoy the rest of your summit.